everyone, my name is Pallescent Marine and welcome back to another video. You know, today I kind of wanted to try something a little bit different. I know we normally do creative building videos and <laughs> I don't usually do Let's Plays, but I was streaming a little bit on Twitch lately and uh, I've been playing a little bit of hardcore on Twitch. It's been super fun and I thought it might be a bit of fun to bring this to a YouTube series as well. And we're playing some hardcore. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but honestly, I had such a blast on Twitch doing it. And I actually died on my last hardcore world on day nine. And, you know, I'm just like, you know, let's do a YouTube series on this. And so honestly, I'm just going to get right into it and not waste any time. I just think it's going to be a little bit of fun. I know a lot of people usually see me as a, you know, a creative builder. Normally people don't really see my survival side of things and I do enjoy the game from survival and just having that extra challenge of hardcore has really opened my eyes as to how comfortable I can get in a uh, regular survival. I play Legacy over on Twitch as well and it's great, it's really fun but oh boy the the amount of times that I'm just on edge on stream playing hardcore is honestly amazing. It feels like a game again, um, instead of just a creative toolbox. So, I don't know. I'm quite pumped to make this a series, to be honest. And, you know, my creative videos take a long time to make. And I kind of thought that, you know, we need to bring more content to the channel. And I don't want to, you know, have to leave you guys waiting so long. So we can kind of go on this journey together and um, hope that I just don't absolutely die and fail miserably in the first episode. <laughs> And, you know, if we do die, yeah, we can always just start again, right? Let's, we can just start again. It's fine. Let's just get ourselves a pickaxe and uh, just mine straight down and get some stone. Oh, yeah, I kind of forgot to mention this is 1.16. So, you know, going to the nether is going to be loads of fun. <laughs> I know I had plenty of those um, encounters with hoglins and piglins over on Twitch. And, uh,. Now we can actually finally experience it over on YouTube. Commentary? I'm not really extremely extremely sore, sure about. See, I can't even talk right now. But uh, I'm kind of going to see how we go. You know, I don't have a lot of practice in pre-recording except for Evo. Uh, but I, I think I like to think I'm getting a bit better with streaming. <laughs> Just let me know how I go in the comments below. I think it's going to be interesting. Oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, I got my stone. Let's make some tools. I just got a random amount of stone because I was talking and, you know, I get distracted and just, just make whatever. We need to make a sword. Let's make uh, two stone swords. They're usually good for, like, animals. Maybe a stone axe would be nice. And what about a stone shovel? Maybe a couple of stone pickaxes would be good. We do need some coal. We need to go, like, pretty quickly. If, we, if we're if we out here at night time, that, that's a bad. That's, that's a bad idea. Um... I do need to find some sheep. We need a bed as soon as we can. Let me get some food though as well. Hello, piggly peas. Come on. Thank you. Take some berries. Berries are good for food, actually. So that that's going to cover that base, at least, without having to cook pigs. Where did you come from, buddy? Thank you. <laughs> um, One thing I did find fun as well on Hardcore is that I wasn't approaching it with the mindset that it was going to last. So... You know, I didn't, I didn't start with the main goal of trying to build any massive bases. I, I built a cave, a, a, a fancy looking cave with a uh, kind of fancy looking entrance. So I just kind of like the way I'm approaching it differently than I usually do. Oh, there's some sheep. Hello. Oh, this is a really cool area, actually. Got a nice little river flowing. Oh, there's a bit of lava over there, too. We could, make, we could get to the nether in the first episode. <laughs> I wouldn't be too bad. I'm swimming in the river. I'm swimming in the river. Okay, hello. Bye. Did I get three wool from that? I got two wool. That's unlucky. I'll take all the piggly wings though. Thank you. <laughs> if you guys want to see more of this, like, let me know in the comments below. Um, you know, because, you know, I, I do normally do the whole building video side of things. Could, could be fun. Why is there no more white sheep? I need a white sheep. I need the third bit of wool, please. There is nothing 
here for me to get. Oh, I see you. I see some sheepies. I would like three for bed. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, sheepy. Thank you. Berries, ow. Boop, boop. Thank you. Okay, we need sugar cane for enchanting as well. Sugar cane would be good. Thank you. I see some moo moos. You are mine. I will take you. Thank you very much. I will take you, moo moos, and you shall be mine, and you shall be. be. I need coal. I really need coal. We need to find this cave as soon as we can. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, the sun is still. No, the sun is going down. Okay. Um, we're gonna make this bed ASAP. Beautiful. Thank you. Now, we also do want to kind of um, get an idea about where we want our base to be as well. I need to find a place to settle in and kind of just start making. We're going to make all the farms. It's going to be a very functional base. Uh, I've certainly found my play style has differentiated from, you know, normal, uh, no normal servers in that respect that uh, I make the base less for aesthetics and more just to be functional, grab those farms. Um, make it efficient, and I also want to delve into villages as well this time. Make a village trading hall, just get that up and going straight away. We want all those enchantments as quickly as possible. That's going to be great. All right, get to sleep our first night. We are not going through the first night without a bed. No, no, no. Okay, lovely. Oh, coal, hello. Did I walk past some coal over there because I was too busy <laughs> messing with other things? I will take you. Food? Uh, what if we cook the pork chop? We have plenty of that. We got plenty of quite a lot of food, to be honest. We don't really need a massive amount. Hmm. What style? Okay, so, I mean, obviously in the first episode, we're not going to have this huge base going on, but what kind of style would you guys like to see me build a base in? Could, could be anything, honestly. Um, I mean, giant organics are probably a little bit out of the question here, but in terms of, like, do you want me to do, like, Medieval, Italian, um, Roman, I don't know, just like anything, even even Australian houses. Like, what, what do you guys want to see me build as an actual base? Because obviously we're probably going to, it, it's going to be a very small base to start off with until we get into like a bigger one, if we even survive that long. <laughs> but, you know, I, I just kind of wonder, what do, what do you guys want to see? What do you guys want to see out of this survival series? It's going to be fun though. <laughs> Let me, let's, let me do a little bit of exploring for a bit, see if we can find an interesting place to come across. And I'll, uh, I'll let you go. Oh wait, never mind. There's a village over there. I was about to say, hey, just give me a second to explore and then we'll be right back. But no, there is a village. It's gonna be great. Don't die! No! Hello darkness, my old friend. Well, I mean, I'll take your ink sacks. Thank you. <laughs> Oh no. That poor squid though. Why is everything dying in front of me? Let's go get that village. I think a village is going to be a great place to kind of start off as well. Maybe we can make this like a temporary home or something. We got plenty of food with that wheat. It's going to be lovely. And then maybe we can actually start trading with villagers too. Oh, you know what I didn't make? I didn't make a hoe. In 1.16. Hoes are actually amazing. Um, see, you can break hay so much quicker now. It's also really good on leaves. Um, so if you're, you know, you're kind of waiting to get those saplings, you don't have to wait for the whole tree to just poof. You can just break it with your hoe and it gets the same amount of drop rate as it would if you're just going to wait it or punch it with your hand. And it's so much faster. Thank you. Hello. Mimi cow. Okay, beautiful. Come here, cows. Let's put you in a pen and I'm gonna breed you. Is there any pens in this village? Is that a pen over there? No. Oh, there's one down there. I think that's gonna be perfect. We've lost one cow. One cow down. Come on. Get get your little butt back here. Yeah, it's it. Moomoos. <laughs> cow? Please? Could tame some kitties too. There is some fish. We can go fishing and tame our first cat. That could be cute. It's just a little pen that's just perfect for us right here. No, 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 you all gotta come in here. That's the way. No, yep, that that's the way. Okay. 
breed those up and those are going to be good for our enchantment table to do as soon as we can. Beautiful. All right, let me get some fish. I'm making the obtain a kitty cat too. Let me sleep. I want to sleep. Please. Mouse spam. Sleep. Please. Please. Mouse spam. Yes, we like to sleep. We're not risking it. He was, I can um start breeding chickens too, actually. We should kind of do that as soon as we can. Um, just get all the animals together, start getting our farm set up nice and early, and just get straight into it. We've also got a beautiful pig pen here too, with a nice horse. This is actually perfect. This is going to be our first horse, so once we get a saddle, he's, he's going to be our pal. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. <laughs> let, me get the, let me get this chicken. All right, and we can start breeding chickens as well. So we're gonna have the whole, the whole shebang. We can grab those sheep from over there. This is great. This is kind of like perfect, actually, to be honest. It's totally duck. Oh, no, he popped out another one. <laughs> it's just so nervous to see me here. Is that what it is? You guys make a little chicken baby. Yes. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, look at the little baby chicken. Meh. Wheat. Thank you. Oh, we have fish. Cat, I have fish for you. <gasps> You're so cute. You're so cute. Can you be mine? <gasps> Yay! We have a kitty cat. It's the first kitty cat. We're going to get all the cats. It's going to be great. Going to get all the cats. Look at, the, look at this cat. Isn't it beautiful? Look at his big blue eyes staring at me. Got first cat. Hello. Is <laughs> he going to purr? <gasps> oh, it's so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Wait, what are my what are my sounds at? My friendly creatures at uh, at forty nine. Can we? Can 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 you purr, please? <gasps> Isn't it just the most relaxing sound? It's lovely. It's lovely. You you can stay there, buddy. You can stay there. This is gonna be our village. This is gonna be our home for a little while. <laughs> we need we need some carrots though. Oh, look at him. He's looking down. Yeah, no, he's very cute, isn't he? Yeah, I know, I agree. Chicken? That was disrespectful. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> boop, 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 uh, boop, 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 I said boop. Oh, the piglies. Where are you? I saw another one. I see you. Boop, boop, boop. I think we can probably live in that house. Ooh. I'm gonna fall down that one day, and that is just that's just gonna be my doom. <laughs> it's, it's just it's just gonna spell my doom. I can tell. Oh boy! All right, let me. Where's the entrance? It's on the other side. Let's just start building in here. I think that's gonna be kind of cool. What if we break this one and then put the crafting table right there as like a little workbench? It's nice and cute. And then up here, we can like put a little chest for our storage. I think that'll work out nicely. Uh, what do we need here? Oh, we can put a furnace down. What if we put some furnaces down up there and it's going to be like kind of like a little kitchen? That could be cute. Gonna need to grab more cobblestone though. Um, let's see, let's smelt the pork chop so we get more of that going. We do need to make some torches too, which I think is going to be important. Um, let's just put maybe 10 in there for now. Or 11, sorry. Cut's going to go to 10 in a minute. Um, apples, potatoes, we've got the pork chop we need, and we also need just a little bit of wood for some torches. Let's not make buttons out of that. <laughs> okay. Torches, and we're set to go mining. Let's go do it. Oh, it's going to go nighttime soon? It is going to go nighttime soon. I'm going to embed my doors. I like them this way. Tiki. <laughs> okay, nighttime. I want to sleep. Let's. I would like to sleep. And we have activated sleep, and I shall go in my mining journey, and we shall get this iron, and hopefully not fall, fall to our deaths, because that could very potentially happen. Very easily. Okay, gotta remember to take it cautiously, and we'll be okay. We'll be a-okay. Okay, let's actually change that with that. And that with that. Okay. That's a zombie down there. Well, that's no good. I don't want a zombie down there. No, thank you. There's plenty of coal, at least. Hmm. Okay, let's not jinx this. 
All right, we're not gonna die the first time, first day, first episode. Kind of hoping to, to take this into a nice long series. That would be lovely. Oh, the good, good iron. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm. Oh boy. That sounds like death. <laughs> oh boy. I don't like the sound of that. I mean, if that's a, if that's a zombie spawner, that would be amazing. Uh, if that is possible, then we can make an XP grinder better. I don't think it's a spawner, but maybe, you know, maybe we'll get lucky. Who knows? Could, could be lucky here. No, we don't need to hurry down in the, in the mines. Let's kind of do this. Oh, there's so many zombies though. Could very well potentially be a spawner. Just need to get all this iron first. And the last thing we want to do is jump down into a pit of zombies. That would be pretty bad. There is so many of you. Why is there so many? I mean, I get it's on hardcore, but... Oh, dang. Oh, dang. I just put that in the wrong spot. Okay. Hello, buds. There we go. Easy. Okay, hello, Zomdom. Hmm, okay, let me just light up all these caves, because if there's one thing I've learnt, it's that creepers can happen anywhere, at any time. So if you don't up your, light up your caves ahead of time, you're going to get surprised by a creeper. It can very easily happen. And you do not want that. When you're mining, you do not want them to spring on you. So, oh, is that a ravine? Oh no, that is a ravine. Oh, there's diamonds down there. I see our first diamonds, guys. Look at the, there's a skeleton right there, but look at those. We need to get those. That is going to be the goal. Iron, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, I appreciate you. Oh, hello, Mr. Deadly. No, 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 we don't. Oh my gosh. Oh, see, this is what I mean. They come out of nowhere. They're like, yo, man, I'm just going to be here. I'm going to upset your your brain and give you anxiety. Oh my gosh. If I didn't hear those pit up out of footsteps, like if you guys ever play Minecraft and you don't have hostile mob noises over to 100%, what are you doing? <laughs> like, do not risk it. Do not risk that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why is there so many of you? I'm going to go back up. I'm gonna smelt this iron and get myself some armor so that, you know, we don't die to the first whack of a zombie. Oh, what time of the day is it? I can't see the sun. Where are you? Okay, that's going down anyway, so that's gonna be good for sunsets to reset the day. <laughs> Make sure we don't get any mobs spawning on our heads at the same time. Oh my gosh. 39 iron though? I think that's pretty amazing. That's a good start. <gasps> I'm still recovering from the creeper. I, I kind of thought I was dead on the first episode. That would have been awkward. I make like a whole bunch of these furnaces. Just put them up at the top. That look kind of cool. Oh, I made one too many. That's okay. That was our iron. Beautiful. Acquire hardware. Awesome, awesome. Gonna make a bunch of sticky woos. Make a sword. Make a pickaxe. Let's make a helmet. Uh, to start. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay, we got five. Then we can make the booties. We got the booties. Awesome. So now we just need a little bit more iron for those. Okay, how's our iron doing? All right, that's going to get our last set of armor, our chest plates. Lovely. Okay, then we'll just make maybe some extra pickaxes would be good. Uh, maybe a bucket would be nice. So then we can put some la uh, water down. <laughs> Not lava. We don't want to put lava down. That, that could be bad. All right, this is how we do it. Now we're going to make ourselves a little house as well. I think what we can probably do is um, maybe transform this house a little bit into our first home and make it all nice and snug. I do like the interior and how that's kind of going, so we can for sure go with that. Okay, why is there so many sounds everywhere? There is another creeper down there. That is a baby zombie, if I've ever seen one. Oh my gosh, hi. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hello. <laughs> I, I'm, how about no on that one? I'm, I'm going to take a no. Oh my wow. Oh my wow. 
Now, do I remember the way out? Mm, not really. <laughs> this is where we get lost in the caves for ages. Down this way somewhere, maybe? Hmm. I, I think I'm gonna just mine my way out. This is gonna be quicker at this point. I heard it. Did I hear a rabbit? I just want I heard a rabbit just then. Oh boy. Oh boy. I can taste I can taste it. I can taste it. I can breathe it. Fresh air. Oh, it's a fox. Oh, not a rabbit. It's a fox. What does the fox say? Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. Fresh air. Okay. We're going to go back down for those diamonds as well. But just approach it from a different angle. So that I know exactly where to go instead of being lost. I, I'm going to have to patch that up one day as well. I'm going to fall down that by accident. And that's how, I can, that's how I'm going to die. I'm calling it. <laughs> just accidentally falling down that. Oh, look at all this iron we got. So, so much iron. It's awesome. Let's just smelt the rest of this. Let's kind of split it up between two. There we go. Get them smelting away. And we do need another chest as well. Let's probably make one more. There we go. It's nice and cute. And what we could do is probably get like a whole bunch of barrels and put them atop, across the top as well. It could be really nice. Come inside and be with me, kitty. Come on. Just a little bit further. <laughs> Why, why are you going to stay there for? All right, come on. Get your little booty inside. Here we go. It's going to be nice and nice and comfy in here, nice and warm and toasty. I can't get them up on top here, though, unfortunately. No? Okay. That's all right. You can stay there, then. Now, kitty, let's make some barrels. It's going to be lovely. Now I think barrels take slabs. How many can we make? Nine. That's lovely. I think that we don't need any more than that. Got plenty. And they can work as, like, cute little little kitchen cabinets as well it's gonna be lovely now i think the top of the roof here we could probably improve maybe we can make that just full oak instead of having one awkward run or we can kind of uh I don't know, make it a bit of a funky roof even what if we grab some more oak here or what if we don't even use oak and we use a bit of spruce on the inside so we can make a few stairs just like that and then maybe just put them on the edges in here to kind of look a little bit like roof supports, I suppose. Can I do one in the middle too? I don't know if one in the middle is kind of... See, we can't place one there because of the furnace. And I kind of like the furnace, so I don't really want to replace that. Yeah, I, I suppose. I suppose it kind of works. What if we kind of put one opposite that way? Eh. I think I want to replace this. Is this the roof block? Oh, it is a roof block. I kind of wanted to replace that with, like, stripped spruce wood or something like that. Hmm. Oh, sun's going down. Sleepy time. Slip slip time. Ah, sleep. Oh, look at the beautiful sunset through the door. It's lovely. Thank you. Let me get some more spruce. We could probably kind of maybe adapt the roof a little bit. Maybe we can change all the blocks on this roof to, to, to stripped spruce. Might not look too bad, to be honest. Kind of just experimenting a little bit here. See, I wanted all this to be strip spruce. So if we kind of just make the whole roof like that, inside from aside from the, like the the edges, that might kind of be okay. What if we just do that? I'm gonna have to chop down a lot of spruce though, unfortunately. Okay, so this should be enough wood. I'm hoping. I have a stack in a little bit, but the roof isn't very big, so I'm kind of hoping this should be fine. Now, uh, can we... Oopsies. My bad. <laughs> Let's get our little bo booties back on this roof. Of course, I'm going to have pillars galore by the time I'm done here. Well, let's just do this. Place all of these over here. Oopsies. No, thank you. I kind of want to put... Um, add some ends to these bits, to be honest. Can we, uh, can we do that? Yeah, so if we do this, and then kind of just make these solid, then we don't have those kind of weird bits... Um, look kind of cut off. Don't want that going on here. Now if I get that. Put that one there like that. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Gonna need probably a few of these actually. There we go. Okay, another one there. Awesome. Now on the roof as well. Yeah, I mean, I think we can probably change the, the oak to something else. Um, But I, I for now it kind of works out. We want to change the walls as well a little bit. Maybe we can add like a little room of stone around the bottom. That could kind of work out. Let's mix in some nicer 
um, some nicer grey tones instead of just this cobblestone wall. But they don't do too bad with even adding in a little bit of this uh, mossy cobble here. It's kind of nice. I do like that change they have added. Uh, let's, uh, let's do it on the other side as well. I think this is going to be fine. What about... Wait, what does it look like inside? Oh, it looks kind of cozy. I think I like that. Beautiful, beautiful. We can also get a little campfire and make a smokestack coming out of that. That could be cool. There we go. That's kind of nice and cozy. Not a little bad uh, first interior. This bed though needs to probably move to somewhere. What if we put the bed like up here or something? It's not the best, but I mean it does the job. <laughs> uh, can we make a sign? Let's make a couple of spruce signs. And then if we put those on the edges of the bed here. Kind of hides it a little bit, so it kind of just looks like a... I don't know, something. Something there. It works as a nice bed without, you know, kind of obstructing the little kind of kitchen vibe we have going on here. Okay, we can make a few of these. So I want to make a few campfires. Get those smoking. That is so much wood to use on a campfire. Um, but we want to put a little campfire at the top of the chimney. And then what we can do is actually grab a few spruce trap doors. So I'm going to have to do this. And then... How many trapdoors can we get? Two. That is, that's not enough. I need more wood. Do I have any more wood? Oh, I've got more. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, let's not make pressure plates. Trapdoors, 24. That is much better. Much, much better. Okay, so we can make a cute little, uh, cute little chimney off the top here. Just a little simple touch to kind of bring things to life again. Oh, bring, bring things to life. I, I look at the sun, I'm just like, oh, it's going nighttime again. I'm not going to just mix up my words or my sentences together there. This is fine. So now it kind of looks like it's being lived in a little bit. It's really cute. What we also can do is, um, I think we could do it on, kind of tend to do it on that side. But I kind of like how the chimney is coming out the top there. Um, oh, let me hold on. Let me just get rid of the diorite real quick. Oh, it's going nighttime a lot quicker than I thought. Ah! I want to put like just a little a little overhang of one of these pieces. I think on this side is probably going to be the better bet here. It's like a cute little cute little overhang. Probably want it to go the other way though. Uh, X. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Oh no! It breaks the campfires. Oh no! Oh no! I don't have any more woods. Okay, let me just sleep real quick and I'll have to get more wood. All right, baby. No. Oh my gosh, that is intimidating. Please don't stare at me while I sleep. That's creepy. That's creepy. Please don't grow up to be creepy. <laughs> Why are you staring at me? Stop it. Okay. Let me get some more spruce wood. Because apparently I need a whole lot more. And then we can do those campfires properly. And uh, get those diamonds. Now on top of making some campfires, uh, I did decide to also cook up a little bit of stone. So we can kind of make um, sort of like a just a little bit of a nice rock garden out the front. I think that could be kind of cute. God, these villages are so noisy though. Oh my gosh. But here I just want to make like this cute little overhang that maybe just comes off the side. I don't really know. I'm kind of just doing something really small here and kind of just winging it a little bit. <laughs> but we can make this a cute little garden. I say cute and everything's on fire. This is how it goes. But that's okay. We can just do this. Just put it all out, just like that. Of course, I can't do them from underneath, so that could be a bit of a problem. Let's try and get to. Let me just do that for a second. There we go. So much easier to put out a campfire that way. All right, lovely. So we got this cute little overhang thing. I don't know, I might carry that, um, that stripped spruce downwards, actually, just by one block. Because now that we have the overhang, it's kind of been made... A little bit redundant to have that oak there. So if we just give it an extra little layer. It kind of looks like the uh, the campfires are kind of coming off the roof instead of just being an attachment. Okay, so we add that on. Strip that down. Then we add another one off this edge. There we go. Strip that one down. There we go. So it kind of looks like it kind of carries forth into it now. Just a little bit further. He's, he's already relishing underneath. You, got, you having a good time under there, boy? Alright, and then we put some little fence gates across to make this little uh, little archway thingy, Majiggy. I don't even know. And then make kind of just two on each end. 
I'm totally gonna fall down that hole at some point. It, oh my god, I placed both of those wrong. Both of those wrong, oh my gosh. Okay, there we go, that's better. Okay, and then, oh, it's going nighttime again already. I feel like nighttime comes by so quickly. While we're waiting for that, I kind of just wanted to build up this side a little bit. Just as a cute little kind of rocky, little rocky area, I suppose. I'm gonna build that up with little tiny rocks. Uh, that's not really what I wanted, but kind of, kind of, kind of checks out. We just need to add some leaves in there and some grass, so we can probably make some shears too. Collect some of those. I don't know, just make it, make it a cute little home in the middle of a completely vanilla village. <laughs> this is how we do it. Okay, but yeah, we can just like embed kind of leaves in here a little bit. Let's make it a cute little garden, I suppose. Um, and then add in just some andesite into the mix so it doesn't look completely bland with just stone. Put some there. We break this one down here too. There we go. It's not so bad. Okay, and then we can mix it in with this wall as well. So if we grab that like this. There we go. Just to kind of de denoise it. Oh, wait. oh, I actually want that. I kind of want that in there. It's the front's pretty basic. What if we add in like a cute little window here or something? That could be nice. I don't have any sands though. So can we grab some sands? Okay, we got our sand. We're gonna be good to go. Let's go make those windows. Okay, now it's just a little window at the top, just like that. It kind of makes it just a little bit more cute, I suppose. Though what if we get a little bit of oak wood and kind of just add like a, a lip off the front of that or something? It kind of just needs, just needs something. What if we, what if it's just like a little oak trap door lip instead? It, it kind of does it, I guess. It kind of does the job. Oh yeah, I was going to get stone slabs, wasn't I? Nothing too fancy, I suppose, but it, it's good for like just a little place for us to kind of get ourselves situated. Okay, so if I put stone slabs just on here as well. That just to make it look a little bit more natural and random, I suppose. That might look okay. Put another slab there. Okay, so if we mix in some sweet berries as well, I think this could kind of be just a, just a little, little cute garden. Just a little cute garden on the edge. Hmm, I wouldn't mind just some ferns as well to kind of mix in, but we don't really have any of those yet. I say as we're literally right next to a spruce pipe. <laughs> Let me grab some ferns. There we go. That's not bad for a little, little starter home. Boop boop, and then maybe boop there. There we go, and then we can just put the grass just there or something. I don't know, what if we get some walls too? I don't have any andesite left though. Make a couple of cobblestone walls and kind of put them on the rocks. I don't know how well this is going to merge in though. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to break that. I meant to keep that. Oh boy. Yeah, I like, I like andesite walls for this better, but uh, I think this will... So do us regardless, I reckon. Beautiful, and it's a, it's a cute little patch of greenery. And go around the other side, and we got our little fireplace alcove thing. Around the back is pretty boring, but I think it kind of works as just a, a first house. Nothing too, nothing too fancy. Um, let me see. So we need to go back down and get those diamonds as well, as well. And then I think that's gonna be it for us here. Put all these away in here and get ourselves organized, and then we'll head down. The quest for the diamonds continues. I will get you, and you shall be mine, and we will be diamonds. <laughs> okay, now this is usually one of the most dangerous parts because in ravines, you'll get drop creepers, and drop creepers just suddenly jump down from nowhere, seemingly nowhere, these little ledges that spawn, and they get you. So extremely dangerous. Anything can happen here. So we just want to be really, really careful. Really careful. This could spell the end of us <laughs> very easily. Okay, we see the diamonds. We're honing in that vision. They're going to be ours. Now we got some skeleton company though, unfortunately. Let's kind of just make sure we don't doom ourselves here. 
Okay, yeah, you're the you're there, but can you come a little bit closer? That's the way. No, ideally, we kind of want them to come up towards us. So we don't get really cornered here. There we go. All right, beautiful. Now we haven't got any drop groupers yet. Let's not jinx it though. All right, let's see how, how many we're going to get. Let's kind of shelter ourselves under here so that we don't get dropped on. All right, how many are we going to end up with? Let's have a look, see here. Okay, it's looking, looking like an eight, which is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Perfect. Oh, is my pickaxe going to break? Oh, wait. Oh no, it's got one durability left. I did not come down with enough durability in my pickaxe. Ah, no. Oh no. Okay, let me go get another pickaxe real quick. All right, I have my pickaxe and we are good to go. <laughs> Back to business. Oh boy, we're gonna have to get fortune sometime soon as well. Why is everything dying in front of me today? Oh boy, we, we've had a squid. Oh, see, there we go, we got some company. Uh, we had a squid die in front of us. Make sure there's no drop creepers. We had a sheep die or a wolf. And then we just had a, had a bat decide to decide to poof for some reason. I think he was on fire, so he must have flown into the lava or something like that. We get this iron while I'm here, but then we'll make our way very swiftly and promptly back to the base before anything happens. And oh boy, <laughs> oh boy. Oh, we got lapis too. I'm gonna take this lapis. Thank you. It's good for enchanting. Get that up and running nice and quickly. Beautiful. We're back. We survived, guys. We're good. We have eight diamonds to our name. Let's christen it with a pickaxe. All right, let me, let me give it some sticks. Wait. Wait. I need sticks. Hold on a minute. We'll sort this problem. Sticks. Okay, there we go. Okay. Let's make our first pickaxe. Oh boy. Five diamonds and a pickaxe. We are good. Look how cozy this place is. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? This nice little cozy place. We got our, our beautiful cabinets above. All of our beautifully sorted items. Look at this. We can, we can put this away in here. It's great. And then we can smelt all the iron. Oh, 64 iron. Oh, well, I'll take that. Thank you very much. That doesn't go in there. That goes in there. And just, oh, it's satisfying. I, I like the fact that I'm, you know, on top of organizing today as well. I got some redstone, lapis, coal. Put the diamonds in there now too. All the woods. Look at that perfectly organized. It looks lovely. All nice and cozy. And we have our beautiful little home. The sun is about to go set, so I'm going to end this quickly, guys. But honestly, it's been amazing as a little first episode. Um, we had a little bit of a close call there in terms of the creepers, but I think we're also always going to have a close call with those guys. But it's been a lot of fun. Uh, first episode of a hardcore series that we're going to do as long as we can. If I die early on, then I'll just start another one. But hey, Let's see how long this one goes for. Hopefully my experience with the... Excuse me? He's... He just killed my chickens. He just killed my chick... I mean, it's okay. I'll trade my chickens for a fox any day. What? <laughs> I'm ending the episode and there's this little fox... Eating my, my chickens. Uh, okay, well anyway guys, we're gonna end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been a blast. Uh, I don't know my current upload schedule for these, you know, what it's gonna be. But hopefully there's just a little bit of, you know, extra uploads in between my creative videos that do take just a little bit longer to upload and create. So, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoy this series. Feel free to leave me feedback in the comments below or what you'd like to see me do in this series. Or maybe some challenges that we can kind of fulfill and go along with. Oh god, that sun's going down. <laughs> but thank you guys so much, and I'll see you all next time. Alright, bye everyone. Bye guys.